500. In this video here we will be testing my new Ryzen 3 5800X versus my older oh. Ryzen 2 3600 XT. Um, 300. And my overall system is a 3080 RTX video card, GPU, 200. and 32 gigabytes of 3201 hz RAM and uh, one terabyte NVMe SSD, but that doesn't really do too much to the performance. Uh, but Flight Simulator is a very CPU intensive game. It's just a very big open world with like a lot of open uh, objects around the map. Of course you need a good graphics card to get good uh, or great graphics on your screen which we can see here with the 3080 but then you also need um, good performing CPUs to get the I frames remember. running and when you get into like cities with more buildings oh, and such and other objects in the area and the game is really that uh, optimized at the moment for multi-core so it really comes down to like the single core performance of your system like with previous uh, flight simulator even though I feel the overall performance of flight simulator compared to older flight simulator or this flight simulator compared to older you still get fairly good frames and like uh, graphics that you can't really compare to older ones it's just on a completely different level but still we are very limited to the uh, main core at the moment i see that in the summer i think they will be releasing this game for the xbox and then they will maybe update the game or performance to benefit multi-core use uh, so we will see higher frame rates with worse CPUs or yeah. But my reason for buying a 5800X is that the single core is just a big jump from the 3600XT, which we can also see in my testing in this benchmark video here. Uh, in all user scenarios, we jumped a few frames upwards, and in the New York landing, where you have all of those buildings in the background, and you were flying a big heavy plane, it really made the game going from almost playable uh, at the end or at landing oh, to playable to a certain degree. We don't get a lot of frames, but those frames really help and mix. Even though we are running fairly low frame rates in this game, and it feels kind of smooth. And like 25 frames and you are one fairly good. It's not like a shaky game where you move around or change the camera a lot. So you see a slight increase with frames. If you already have like a Zen 2 processor, I would I would now wait and see what happens with uh, when it comes to Xbox. Otherwise, we see that there is a performance upgrade. So overall, I feel that the 38 appeared with a Zen 3 processor is a good combination. But in some user scenarios with the biggest jets in like the biggest, most graphic intensive cities, it can bog down a little bit but it still feels uh, playable. And it will be interesting to see how the performance, or if there will be a performance increase uh, this summer, if they optimize it for multi core. Um, but for me right now it's fully playable, but it would be interesting if you maybe want to play in VR. Uh, it would be a nice way to get a few more frames so you don't get like seasick or sick from playing because of the long frame rates. 
that we also see in like the um, thing up in the right corner there that even though the CPU posts them more a few times we can't really have like a too much of a jump before we see like a GPU bottleneck limit uh, so then we would need to pull down your graphics overall like settings to get higher frame rates even though because you are then limited by your GPU and not your CPU which we are now in with like a 4080 
1500. Fifty. 